Welcome, this is MCD Tech with a review of the HD 7770. In this video, I am going to test this graphics card using 4 synthetic benchmarks in 3 games. Although I do have access to more games, I did run into some compatibility issues with this card. If any of you guys have recommendations for other tests to run, the Discord server will be linked below, so you can share your suggestions there. We are looking for more moderators and early adopters right now, so make sure to check it out. The model I am going to be reviewing is the AMD Sapphire Radeon HD 7770 GHz edition. As I am sure you can tell considering the name of this card, the HD 7770 is clocked in at 1 GHz. Featuring 640 stream processors and a full gigabyte of RAM, the HD 7770 should hold up decently. When it was released in February 2012 at a starting price of $160, it was competing with cards from NVIDIA such as the GeForce GTX 550 Ti and 560. Built on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process, AMD hoped the HD 7770 would take some of the mid-range market. Six years later, in 2018, let's see how it performs. Starting with synthetics, I ran Blender, which actually crashed after I attempted to run the Quick benchmark for the first time. After running the benchmark again, the computer finished after a little bit over an hour. Throughout the rest of this review, keep in mind the rest of my computer's specs include a Core i5-6500, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and a 500 watt PSU. In Cinebench, this card scored 86.7 FPS in the OpenGL test. That places the HD 7770 above the Quadro 4000 I tested in a previous video. In Unigine Heaven, running at 1080p with the DirectX 11 API, this card scored 683 points with a 27.1 FPS average. In Unigine Superposition, running at 1080p medium settings, this card scored 2101 with a 16 FPS average. With the benchmarks out of the way, we can begin testing games. Starting with CSGO, at 1080p high settings, this computer ran incredibly well. Gameplay was fluid and rarely had any dips in FPS. Warface also ran well all the way up to high settings, only barely missing the golden 60fps average at high settings. I would still consider Warface playable and enjoyable. And finally, I tested Fortnite, which did not run into any issues until I bumped the settings up to high. That being said, low and medium settings were still very playable. In conclusion, this card still holds up well with light gaming. I think the HD7770 still does have a place in the modern market for budget gamers as long as they are priced reasonably at around $20 to $30. I am sure if the HD7770 was paired with a Core 2 Quad, like a Q6600, it could be a pretty capable but super cheap PC for those of you that are focused on price. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Also feel free to check out the rest of the content on this channel. Thank you for watching.